Okay, we're live and we'll be recording this as well. <coughs> hey, Sensible Simon, how are you? Hey, Sensible Simon, how are you? My bad. <laughs> Turn that down. I have to use my phone for my uh, chat because I can't see chat otherwise. Well, I just thought of something actually. I may not have to do that. Yeah, how are you doing, No Sensible Simon? I hope you're doing well. I use that to watch chat. Piece of games. Package from Fold 713. Mentioning to Harry that the package, whatever it was, would be safer at Hogwarts. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from Platform 9 and 3 quarters. Thanks for the alert, Cat. <clears throat> I hope you have a good stream. If I get done uh, before you get off, I'll try to stop in. Stairs and off to 
The worst part about this one, this one in particular is you cannot skip any cutscenes. YouTube channel as well. We're going to teach you how to climb. Run to the bookcase and don't stop. You'll climb up. Above the bookcase is a Bertie Box Every Flavor Bean. Collect all the beans you can find and meet us in the next room. This game can be a little bit glitchy at times, but um, <laughs> I love it. It's not my favorite in the series of the PC games, but I do do like this one a lot. <laughs> That was the only good thing that I really liked the best in this in this one was that the chocolate frogs don't jump away. in this game where Peeves ends up uh, doing that laughing way further than um, he's supposed to. Hello Harry, it's me, Marnie Granger. You met 
to look at what it's friends, remember? The fence against the dark heart is through this door. <coughs> terrible but I did pass at least by 1%. That's a stinger. Oh well. I swear I don't think I'll ever get them all. I always miss it by that much. Sorry that I had to change the setup so much, but um, with older PC games, it is so hard to be able to stream them, so, at least for me, I, I've had a hard time figuring it out other than doing it this way. I'm just glad I got it running. Mr. Potter. 
This is a save game book. When you touch it, your game will automatically be saved. The game will restart from this point if you faint. You can also load a saved game from the main menu. Goodbye. Yeah, this part is very annoying. Hey Enigma, how are you doing? Yeah, yeah, um, I'm playing the original Harry Potter on the um, yeah, in the PC. <clears throat> I love I love the the original Harry Potter games. I grew up with them, and um, although I'm doing I'm doing well, but um, unfortunately I got sick on Thursday, and I'm hoping I'm really hoping it's not COVID. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Which one was your favorite out of the three that came out on the PC? Or like at least these, these the three originals. I think mine was Prisoner Razgman, but 
I fully understand for people that really loved uh, Chamber of Secrets more. <clears throat> Chamber of Secrets was phenomenal as well. I wish I could figure out how to stream it uh, in full screen, but I've uh, not quite been able to do that. So that's why I had to go with this. Oh, okay. The, the um, I played those ones on the GameCube, but they're they're great as well. I recently did a playthrough of Sorcerer's Stone on the GameCube, and that's on my uh, YouTube channel if you ever want to check it out. Enigma. And um, I love the Quidditch game. I have that on the PS2. That one I do have on the PS2. Yep. I'll be putting this one up on YouTube as well. My favorites personally are the PC just because I, I grew up with them. Uh, they, were some of, they were some of the first games that ever introduced me to gaming. It was between this game, Luigi's Mansion, and Crash Bandicoot. Warped to uh, th those are like the uh, three that introduced me to gaming, really. Yeah. Very risky jump, but it worked out. <laughs> this part is very annoying because if you happen to fall off and die anywhere through this whole part, you gotta redo the whole thing. Which is so annoying. But, and, and the thing about it is it's so early on and it's one of the harder areas for jumping throughout the game. I will say though, the Sorcerer's Stone, or well, or the Philosopher's Stone is the version I'm playing right now, probably is my least favorite out of the three just because it's the least polished, and I understand it's oldest, it's the oldest, but I feel like it's a scenario like Crash Bandicoot where each game got better, and um, this one just, after playing Chamber Secrets and Prisoner of Azkaban, you notice the differences, the controls just got so much better. Oh yeah, yeah. But I give EA credit. This was back when, in my opinion, this was back when EA actually was good. <laughs> Personally, I do not like what EA did to the Harry Potter series after. Well, I didn't mind Half Blood Prince, but Order of the Phoenix was really good. But yeah, yeah. Pretty much after these three, the series was never the same though. Because Goblet of Fire was not that great to me, at least. I know, yeah, it, it saddened me. Order of the Phoenix, though, I will say was good. But not not like these. These three just were amazing. And what I liked back then is that every version of the game was different. So if you played it on GameCube PS2, you had a different version than the people that played it on PS1. And then the people that played it on PC, or even Game Boy, or even DS. Goblet, yeah. I don't blame you. I, I don't blame you there. I will say the Order of the Phoenix was much better than Goblet. But, um... Because I did not like the way Goblet went. But, um... And Half-Blood Prince was not terrible, per se. It started going down a bad road, but it was not terrible. It was not great either, though. Yeah, well, each one had their differences. They all played, um, they all kind of played differently. Like, even the Game Boy ones, um, were like an RPG, which was crazy. It was like a Harry Potter RPG on the Game Boy. It 
which was yeah on the Game Boy Color at least the Game Boy Color versions were that way which was crazy These ones are very annoying. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. I'm going to be missing beans here in a moment. Of course. Oh, darn you. Thanks for dropping in the stream though, Enigma. How have your streams been recently? I saw I, I saw you stream the other day, but um unfortunately recently I've just been so busy I've not been able to stop in. But I definitely want to try to stop in again sometime soon. By the way, I just thought of it. Definitely go, uh, go give Enigma 9011 a follow. He is an excellent streamer. Yep. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no problem, Enigma. Yeah, I love your streams. Your streams have been always wonderful. Oh, I was gonna ask you: Have you ever played the uh, Persona games? I know you get into RPGs often. Do you like the Persona games? I've been playing those recently, and I love the music in the Persona games. It's just so good. Sorry if I'm not looking at chat. This part is very uh, focus oriented. <laughs> Check that message in a minute here. I saw it in the back of my eye, but
misplay, Mr. Potter. Fifteen points for Gryffindor. From now on, you may practice flying at any time. You will find the option on the main menu. Oh yeah, yeah. Those are all really good. You try three, and you need. Yeah, I fully understand. Persona is very difficult like that, and then um. Persona 4 is phenomenal. I highly recommend that game. I cannot recommend it enough. If you ever get a chance to play like Persona 4 Golden, yeah, especially Golden. Golden, <clears throat> I love that game so much. It adds such such amazing things to the game. I have like 55 hours in on the game right now on my Vita and the only reason I don't have more hours on it is because I've been stuck on a boss fight for like forever. Just because the, diffi the difficulty really spikes. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me know if you ever decide to stream it. I will, uh, that's definitely one I'd love to, love to watch if you do. If it's above 95. So. Excellent, Harry. Professor Flick will be very pleased with that attempt, Harry. I'm sure he'll give you 15 house points. You're getting the hang of this. Uh, last season I did, yeah. I don't think I got it this time. I missed it. Yeah, yeah. We finished up last seasons, and we won. We won the championship last year. But um, we already started the new one, so we we had games earlier today. Currently, our record is four zero. We just started on Wednesday the new season, so. I'll be back to regularly streaming the uh, the games. We had actually had a double header just before this. Mario Super Soldiers. Mario Super Soldiers has always been a lot of fun. Take a look at that magical chest. Cast out a Hamora to unlock it.
I love all the different secrets in um, the Harry Potter games. But one thing I will, will say in this Harry Potter game, another issue is the reward system. The reward system was just not good enough in the Sorcerer's Stone. You go out of your way to try to find something awesome and you just get beans. They improved it majorly in the Chamber Seekers. Um, I do plan on playing um, all three, but I just don't know uh, when exactly. Because I think that this will probably be one I'll probably only play when I'm back at home. So it will be a little while before I can continue it after this weekend. But yeah. I could do it on my laptop, but I have, didn't start on my laptop, so technically I'd have to restart the game and pipe it all the way up to the point where we're at before starting the streaming. I have a feeling this one's going to be a little rough. I missed about three percent. Oh dear, that was awfully close. You may now enter the Wingardium Leviosa. The question will be if I finish any of the challenges with all four, because this one is so difficult to do it in. The Chamber Secrets improved that as well. They made it so you didn't have to draw the shape. They made it into like a real, like a mini rhythm game, which was so much easier.
Hey Mike, how are you doing? Good, good to see you. I'm okay. I just um, unfortunately got sick the, uh, on Thursday night, and I'm praying to God that I didn't get COVID. But otherwise, um, otherwise I'm doing well. I don't feel like I'm gonna die at all, so I'm, <laughs> that's a good thing. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm just concerned because when I go back to college this next week, I'm going to get tested and because it's mandatory testing. And well, I'll see. I don't know. I mean, maybe I don't have it. I'm hoping I just have a bad cold because otherwise I'll be out of class for two weeks, which will be rough. I won't, and then more than likely I'll be two weeks behind, so I'll end up probably failing my math class. Which is pretty scary. But I'm trying to I'm trying to just think happy thoughts. <laughs> it could just be a very bad cold because there are, there are some of the symptoms of COVID that I do not have, so it may just be the cold. Currently, I only have a sore throat, cough, and um, a little bit of a stuffy nose from time to time. Yeah, no, thank you very much, Mike. Have you gotten any new games for your PS5? I want it. I still want to get one, but I just haven't been able to get my hands on it. Yeah. But hopefully soon. That's my hope. When you got it, did you get Demon Souls? That's one I really want to get is Demon Souls. I believe there's a wizard card up here. So it was a car back there <laughs> that it didn't go down. I thought it went down. But it was too late. This Harry Potter game, I have never been able to 100%. There are some secrets in this game that are just so well hidden that honestly I've never been able to figure out where they are at. I always wanted to 100% of this game though. Taking the risk. 
I'll just wait. <laughs> Welcome into the stream. Anybody um, that's just dropping in. This will be on my YouTube channel as well, so. Congratulations, Mr. Potter. You completed the challenge. You've collected all the challenge stars. 20 points for Gryffindor. Now, off you go. This part, I remember this part. Is there a card in there or no? Sometimes, unfortunately. One thing you will notice when going through the series is there are definitely uh, glitches. This fight is crazy buggy. Tell 
Oh, I almost forgot. Watch out for Draco Malfoy. I saw him sneaking around here just a minute ago. Well, there won't be any way to be able to completely watch out for him. But, Time for the Malfoy fight. <clears throat> well, well, Potter, we meet again. Having a tour of the castle, are we? This is as far as you'll be going. First one of two. to be tough. <laughs> but when I was younger, you used to always be tough. But now that I've played this game so many times, because I've played all, all three of these games multitudes of times. I think the next save point I might end stream 
Thank you for Rebellion coming out. I'll be back uh, tomorrow night. I may only do Mario Super Sluggers, though. We'll see. Just because I'll have to be up early on Monday morning to go back to college, sadly. But um, once I get there, then I will look for someone to host and um, we'll go from there. Thank you, so thank you very much, Enigma, and thanks for dropping in. I'm gonna begin off soon as well. I'm gonna be uh, next next save book. I'm gonna uh, find someone to host. So, but yep, which shouldn't be too far away. But but uh, good night. And I'll have to try. I'll try, definitely try to stop in for one of your streams in the near future. Save book. Okay, we reached the save book. Okay. Well, thanks for coming out, everyone. It was a good stream. And I'll find someone to host. Let's see who's on. Oh, I know who I'll host. I know exactly who I was. Well, there you go.